Hello students, welcome back to my channel. This video for the students of class 3A and our subject is mathematics. We are in the chapter subtraction. Last day we have discussed exercise 3.2. Today we will discuss exercise 3.3. .3. In this exercise the topic is the topics are subtraction of four digit numbers with borrowing and without borrowing right so let's start with exercise 3.3 .3. question number 1a says subtract the following four digit numbers so please listen you have to do this kind of problems in your book right let's start with question number a 9 minus 8 is 1 since in the tens place it is 0 in the minimum it is 0 and you know 0 is less than 9 so you have to borrow you have to borrow 10 tens right so cross it and write down 10 now subtract it since 10 minus 9 it will be 1 since you have borrowed from this hundreds place because 10 10 means 100 so so this 4 will become 1 3 right now subtract it 3 minus 1 2 and 5 minus 2 is 3 so this is our difference similarly question number C since 8 is less than 9 in the ones place so cross it and write down 18 since you have borrowed so from tens place so it will become 2 now 18 minus 9 is 9 2 minus 0 is 2 again 7 is less than 9 so you have to borrow 1000 from the thousand place so it will be 17 right then you can say 1000 or 10 hundred so it will become 17 and since you have borrowed from this thousands place so it will become 8 right because you have borrowed so 17 minus 9 is 8 and 8 minus 1 is 7 so this is our difference now question number e again it would it would be 11 it will be 11 and this 5 will become 4 now subtract it 11 minus 8 is 3 4 minus 9 since 4 is less than 9 so this 4 will become 14 and this 8 will become 7 so 14 minus 9 is 5 7 is less than 9 so you have to borrow so you have to borrow 10 100 so it will be 17 and this 6 will become 5 now 17 minus 9 is 8 and 5 minus 3 is 2 right question number b important question since 7 is less than 8 so it will be 17 and this 7 will be 16 sorry 6 17 minus 8 is 9 6 is less than 8 so it will be 16 and you know 16 minus and this 7 will become 6 again so 16 minus 8 is 8 you know 6 is less than 8 again then it will be 16 and this 7 will become 6 so 16 minus 8 it will be 8 and 6 minus 6 is it will be 0 similarly question number D since 7 is less than 8 so it would be 17 and this 9 would be 8 and now subtract it 17 minus 8 is 9 since 8 is less than 9 so it would be it will be 18 and this 4 will become 3 so 18 minus 9 is 9 3 is less than 8 
so again it will be 13 and this 6 will become 5 so 13 minus 8 is 5 and 5 minus 3 5 minus 2 is 3 and question number f you have to solve this is your ASW you have to do right in your book now question number 2 question number 2 find the difference now I'm solving question number a similar thing will happen so to write down the number column wise and now subtract it 9 minus 9 is 0 so since 1 is less than 9 so it will be 11 and this 8 will become 7 since 11 is 11 minus 9 is 12 sorry 2 7 is less than 8 so it would be 17 so 7 and it would become 1 so 17 minus 8 is 9 so answer will be 1 minus 1 is 0 so answer will be 920 now I'm solving question number B since 6 is less than 7 so it would be safe so it will be 16 and this 9 it would be it will be 9 sorry 8 so 16 minus 7 so 16 minus 7 is 9 8 minus 8 is 0 since 8 is less than 9 so it will be 18 and this 7 will become 6 so 18 minus 9 is 9 and 6 minus 2 is 4 so this is our result now question number C it will be 12 and this will be 8 and 12 minus 6 is 6 8 minus 7 is 1 this would be this will be 14 and this 6 will become 5 so 9 min 14 minus 9 is 5 and 5 minus 5 is 0 so difference will be 516 question number D E F please do it in your copy by yourself right same logic will apply so don't worry try to learn and do it first okay in the question number three it says subtract and check your answer you already have done how to check the answer so first of all you have to first subtraction you have to do your subtraction so 9 now I'm doing 9 minus 9 is 0 6 minus 4 is 2 8 minus 6 is 2 5 minus 3 is also 2 now add difference with subtrahend right if you will get if you get the minimum the answer will correct the answer is correct so 9 plus 0 is 9 4 plus 2 is 6 6 plus 2 is 8 and 3 plus 2 is 5 so it is checked and this is our menu end right so answer is checked and is correct right question B says same thing that is subtract and check your answer now I'm subtracting so 4 is less than 6 so it will be 14 and this 9 it will become 8 so 14 minus 6 is 8 now since 8 is less than 9 cross it and now write down 18 since there is no number in this 0 so so there is no number in this place so you have to borrow 1 uh, sorry 1000 that is 10 thousand sorry uh, 10 hundred so cross it 10 and write down 10 because you have borrowed from this place so this 10 will become 9 right and this 8 become 7 because you have borrowed because you have to because this 10 uh, because if this 10 we, uh, you have borrowed so this 8 will become 7 and since from this 10 you have borrowed 1 um, 10 uh, 10 tens that will become 9 right so 19 18 minus 9 is 9 9 8, 9 minus 8 is 1 so this is our difference and 7 minus 7 you know is 0 now you have to check is it your answer correct or wrong so 7896 plus 
one nine eight now add them eight plus six is fourteen carry one so nine plus nine is eighteen eighteen plus nine eighteen plus one is nineteen carry one so eight plus one nine and nine plus one is ten and carry one seven plus one is eight oh this is our minuend so the answer is checked and your answer is correct right so you have to learn subtracting across zero okay very often uh, we make mistakes when we are doing subtraction across zero so you have to do it carefully right again i am doing question number c please look at carefully so this is 5000 and this is 3 4 5 2 right now, now i'm subtracting since it is zero you cannot zero you cannot subtract from you cannot uh, subtract from zero because two zero is less than two so it will be 10 but in this tens place here is nothing here is no digit so that's why you have to borrow from this previous digit previous digit is 100 digit so 10 in this hundreds digit in this hundreds place there is no digit so you have to borrow 10 and since you have borrowed 10 so this 5 will become 4 right okay since in this ones place you have borrowed 10 so this 10 cross out and it will become 9 right okay and this since this 10 also will become 9 because you have borrowed 10 so 10 minus 2 is 8 9 minus 5 is 4 9 minus 4 9 minus 4 is 5 and 4 minus 3 is 1 right now let, let's check is your is it your answer correct or wrong now add them 3 4 5 2 and 1 5 4 8 add them 8 plus 2 is 10 carry 1 so 4 plus 5 is 9 and 9 plus 1 is 10 again carry 1 5 plus 4 is 9 and 9 plus 1 is 10 and carry 1 3 plus 2 is 5 so our answer was correct right so we have done so it is checked and please question number d e and f please do it in your home in your copy also by yourself so you have to learn first right now we'll do question number four fill in the missing digits right now i'm solving question number a so say this is three and it will be 13 and this 13 so it will be 13 so 13 minus 5 it is 8 right and because you have borrowed 110 from this tens place so when you are getting a number in the tens place you have to add plus 1 right so you know uh, 1 so you have to get when you have to get the minuend i have told you that i told you that you have when minuend when you have to get minuend and subtrend and difference is given subtrends and difference are given then you have to add so 2 plus 1 is 3 but i have told you because you have borrowed 110 so this number will increase by 1 that is it will be 4 right again since we have to get minuend so 0 plus 9 is 9 and 5 minus 2 is 3 right so this is our answer similarly i am doing question number d so you have to get 8 subtrend is given and difference is given so you know so when you have to get minuend so you have to add 2 plus 8 is 10 so write down here 0 only and plus 1 in this place so you know 4 plus 0 4 plus 0 is 
4 so 4 plus 1 is 5 so here will be 5 right again you have to get subtrahend so 9 minus 4 so uh, you have to get 9 and minuend is given right but you have to get 14 right so you have to think 4 as a 14 so 14 minus 9 so it would be 5 since you have borrowed because it is given because you have told you told me that it is 14 so you have borrowed from this place so this will become 7 so 7 minus 3 it will be 4 so this is our answer now the remaining questions c e b and f you have to do in your copy by yourself because you have to learn right now i'm solving question number five find the difference between the largest four digit number and the smallest three digit number so largest four digit number is nine 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 and the smallest three digit number is one double zero right now subtract it nine nine eight and nine so this is our required result right now question number six what should be added to the 706 7659 so that the answer comes out to be 9990 right when this this question this type of question will asked will be asked so you have to do subtraction so write the bigger number at first and that is our subtract subtrahend and now subtract it you know this is this will be treated as 10 and this 9 will become 8 so 9, 10 minus 9 is 1 8 minus 5 is 3 since 0 is less than 0 so similarly this 9 will become 8 now 10 minus 6 is 4 and 8 minus 7 is 1 so answer will be the required result will be 1431 so what should be added this number should be added to so therefore should be added right to get the answer and the last question in question number seven uh, the sum of two numbers is 2074 if one the one of the number is 172 find the other number so you know you have to find out the remaining remaining part that is sum of two sum of two numbers is two thousand seven hundred four two thousand seventy four and one of the numbers is one thousand seven hundred one thousand seventy two so if you subtract you will get so other number is so the other number is subtracted right so 4 minus 2 is 0 sorry 4 minus 2 is 2 7 minus 7 is 0 0 minus 0 is 0 and 2 minus 1 is 1 so this is our required result okay so keep practicing these problems and try to solve by yourself and do it every day thank you